Hey guys, it's Evan and welcome back to Toy Fair Week and today we're going to be looking at some Razor action. You might have saw the Razor in our GoPro video, but now they're coming out with some new vehicles. Let's check them out. Oh, how does it work? Oh, cool. So it's actually driven by an, uh, an electric motor that's housed in the front fork and okay. direct drives the front wheel. Wherever you point this arrow is where you're going, mm -hmm. and the accelerator pedal allows you to speed up or slow down. It's a variable speed accelerator, accelerator pedal. Mm -hmm. that, that, that controls, the front end controls all the drive of the cart. Okay. Now the, the drifting you see me doing is all done in the back. Okay. And it's done by raising and lowering this drift bar. Mm -hmm. And all that does is it angles the caster wheels in the back. When it's down, they're in an angle and locked. Okay. And when you lift it up, it flattens them out, freeing the wheels to spin around and freeing the chassis to spin around the front end. Awesome. Okay, and it, I see there's, is it battery operated? It is battery operated and it's wall socket rechargeable. Um, it, it lasts for about an hour and 15 of playtime. Wow. We, we spec it at 40 minutes plus, but that's if you hold the gas down, but nobody really holds it down the whole time. The whole time. Yeah, it's all about throttle control and, and spinning. And the other two things about this that don't come to mind right away or aren't obvious is that because it can spin in place and it can drive reverse, you need less space to use it than any other electric product. Okay. And then the, val right. the value for the kids is really like, you have to think about it. It's not like any other electric product where it's gas, brake, left, right, right? Mm -hmm. This is something that's a skill developing toy. So just like a skateboard or even a basketball, every time you get on it, you reflect your experience from the past. So as right. I'm driving it, you see nine years of driving experience. Right, right. And that's what keeps you coming back every time because it, 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 as you get better, it gets better. And what age group? Well, it, we, we spec this one for nine plus, mm -hmm. but I'll be honest with you, most of my friends in their 30s are, are kicking their kids out and I hopping in it. I yeah. can see that. I can see that. It looks pretty fun. New this year, it's called the Zombie and Monster Kicks. So oh, fun. So it's... Um, inviting kids to role play while yeah. they're out um, riding their scooter and being active. So it's these soft so molded hands that they just um, slip their hands in here oh, okay. onto the handlebars and um, they scoot away and they become the zombie of the sidewalk. That's great. So uh, this is available next month mm -hmm. and it's um, $44 for ages like three to five. Three to five, great. And then um, Oh. Another uh, ride-on for the preschool age is the cutie. So the, this combines a two-in-one play. So they can be out scooting along, and then they can also lift this out to become oh. a hobby horse. So Two-in-one. Yes, <laughs> yes. So it's also um, just great make-believe play yeah, as well. Mm -hmm. And then we also have for the youngest riders, for toddlers, is the twisty. Now this is for ages 18 months to about three years. And all they do is they sit on, they sit on here, rest their feet on the handlebars, and then just move it side to side to wiggle forward. Um, and this is available next month as well um, for $44. It's really become a staple of childhood transportation. So it's a great way for kids to start to build their confidence with balance, even before they ride a bike. So we have a whole line um, of these kick scooters. What's new this year is our California Longboard scooter. So if you're familiar with the longboard skateboard um, trend, we took uh, styling cues from that trend, the extended de wooden deck and uh, larger wheels for a smooth ride. So that's available um, in the fall for $79. That was pretty cool. I'm going to have to get my hands on a crazy coat. See you guys next time. Bye. And be sure to check out Evan's blog to see behind the scenes of my parents' big Apple invention.